first of all, uh, on behalf of Malia and Sasha, wish everybody uh, an early happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I am here to announce what I'm sure will be the most talked about executive action this month. <laughs> Today, I'm taking uh, an action fully within my legal authority, <laughs> the same kind of action taken by Democrats and Republican presidents before me, to spare the lives of two turkeys, mac and cheese, from a terrible and delicious fate. Uh, thanks uh, to all those who voted online to pick the official national Thanksgiving turkey. Uh, cheese wants uh, you to know that uh, he won. Uh, Mac, the alternate, uh, is not so badly off either. Um, let's face it, if, if you're a turkey and you're named after a side dish, uh, your chances uh, of escaping uh, Thanksgiving uh, dinner are pretty low. So these guys are well ahead of the curve. They really beat the odds. Uh, it is important to know that turkeys have always had powerful allies. Uh, many of you know that Benjamin Franklin once wrote, I wish the bald eagle had not been chosen as a representative of our country. He is a bird of bad moral character. The turkey is, in comparison, a much more respectable bird. I think these two turkeys would agree with Mr. Franklin. Uh, and they'll get to live out the rest of their days, respectively, at a Virginia estate with 10,000 acres of roaming space. Uh, I know some will call this amnesty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, there's, there's plenty of turkey to go around. Uh, in fact, later this afternoon, Michelle, Malia, and Sasha and I will take two turkeys that didn't make the cut to a local food pantry uh, that works hard year-round to make sure that uh, folks in our nation's capital have food, and clothes to, uh, food to eat and clothes to wear. The Washington Post recently questioned the wisdom of the whole turkey pardon tradition. Typically, on the day before Thanksgiving, the story went, the man who makes decisions about wars, virus outbreaks, terrorism cells, and other dire matters of state chooses to pardon a single turkey plus an alternate. Tell me about it. Uh, it, is, it is a little uh, puzzling that I do this every, day, every year. Uh, but I will say that I enjoy it uh, because uh, with all the tough stuff that swirls around in this office, um, it's nice once in a while just to say Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, and this is a great uh, excuse to do it. Uh, Tomorrow is a special moment uh, when we give thanks for the people we love and where we're mindful of the incredible blessings that we have received. We remember uh, the folks who can't spend their holidays at home, uh, especially the brave men and women in uniform uh, who help keep our country secure. Uh, and we celebrate a holiday that, at its best, is about what makes this nation great, uh, and that's its generosity and its openness. Uh, it is time for me uh, to engage in the official act. So let's see what we can do here with the uh, cheese. Careful there. Careful, careful, Cole. Come on, girls. Don't, don't. They always keep the moment at this. Come on, you got to be right next. Are we ready? Cheese, you are hereby pardoned from the Thanksgiving dinner table. Congratulations. God bless. He looks pretty happy about it. All right, if you want to take cheese down, that's okay. I, I, I will tell you though, turkeys don't have the best looking heads. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You think they're beautiful? I think they're beautiful. Yeah. And to think about their red, white, and blue. There's the American patriotic too. There, 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 there. The patriotism element too. <laughs> Absolutely. You want that? Good to see you. Appreciate you. All right, thank you, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving.